Hello everyone, today we're going to add a portal to the game so we can get to the next level. But before we do this, let's first go to the enemy sprite, click on make a block, and call this art. And I'm going to press add an input, and call this one x, and add another input, and call it y. Inside of here, I'm just going to drag out this hide block, and put this set x to 0 inside of here, and drag in these little input blocks. Now, let's drag in create clone myself, click on looks, and drag out next costume. Now I can delete these blocks, and instead of them, replace it with part 0, 0, and part 480, and 0. And then, before, we need to switch costume to level 1-1. One. I'm also going to remove these two blocks right here equals 50 or equals 50 and drag in x equals 50 or y equals 50 click on the motion tab and drag in x is equal to x position or y is equal to y position then I'm going to switch these around so it will do the exact same thing as before but we don't have all these blocks right here so what I'm going to do is drag this position block onto the ground and drag the part block onto the ground also so it'll copy them over. So this uh, this uh, drag it into the code and it should replace it. Now instead of all these blocks, let's just delete them. Switch costume to level 1-1 level, I mean parts 0 and 0 and then parts 480 and 0. Now let's click on the player let's click on the player sprite, click on operators and drag out the round block. Divided by block inside of change scroll x by, I'm just gonna drag it into the round and drag it back. So now it's round x minus scroll x divided by 5. And then the same with change scroll y by that. So I'm gonna drag it into here and put it back. And you can see right here we're having the same problem like we did in the previous tutorial where the ground is showing off the screen. So to fix this, click on the rectangle tool and click on the ground costumes. Set the fill to nothing and the outline to nothing. And then draw an invisible uh, square around it, uh, around the whole level. And then the same on level 1-2. So now it should hide. Okay, now let's make the portal. I'm going to right click on enemies and press duplicate and call this portal. And I'm just going to delete the second costume and rename the first one to portal. And I'm just going to draw a simple uh, circle. You can change it if you want later. So inside of the code, I'm going to take out this code and this code right here and instead replace it with forever position and I'm going to drag in here the subtract symbols and operators and replace it with x minus scroll x and y minus scroll y and then if level is equal to 1, then we want to set x to 0 and set y to 0, and then if we are touching the player, set game state to next level. Make a new variable called position for, this sprite, for all sprites and press OK, and leave it showing, and click on events. When key space pressed, we want to set position to. I'm just going to click on operators and drag out the join block and put in two more join blocks inside of it. And here I'm going to type position x and where it says banana, I'm going to drag in plus in the variables and drag out scroll x 
plus mouse x and the same on the second join so type in position y I'm going to put a period before it and then right here where it says banana also let me just duplicate this and put it over here and change it to scroll y plus mouse y so I'm going to press space and you can see that the position shows so right here where it says set x to 0 type in 199 and for y type in 151 and you can see that the portal moves to this spot on the screen let me just take out this set game state to next level for now and smooth where I want to set the portal so I want the portal to go right here so I'm gonna press space where I want it where, the, where I want the center of the portal to go and set the X to 491 and the Y to negative 69 so you can see the portal goes right there now let's set drag in the set gain state to next level it acts like the portal is an enemy so we die click on the player sprite and go to the code and go over here under play game drag in an if then else and we want to make sure the game state is equal to death then we die else if game state is equal to next level then let's make a new block called next level inside of next level we want to go to front layer set rotation style to don't rotate repeat 50 point towards portal turn 50 degrees and move 10 steps drag in the divided by block in the second one type 4 and in the first one drag in distance to mouse pointer and change it to distance to portal then we want to wait one second and change level by one and then restart so move back and then set game state to plane now let's press the green flag and let me touch the portal again and you can see we go into the portal and the game should reset one last problem we fix before we end this tutorial is you can see the portal also shows on the edge of the screen to fix that let's click on the portal and go to costumes and I'm going to do the same thing as before I'm going to change the fill to nothing and the outline to nothing and then draw a blank rectangle around it and you can see it hides so thanks for watching this tutorial and in the next one we'll be adding more levels